guys. Car Chronicles, I did not own the rights to this music. Um, sorry if I don't have a perfect view where it's sitting at, but I don't know. Maybe you guys can give me some ideas because these little things I put on here when it gets hot out, it uh, makes the, the thing come off the dash to hold the cameras and the phones and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe you guys can give me another idea what to use because this is not working. Anyways, I did not own the rights to this music. Hey, are you guys saying cool today? It's 104 out here in Tacoma. Look, it's usually not this hot. We actually broke a record this this year. Um, past couple of days, we've been in the triple digits. So, wow. The lights is blinking. What is the power out? Um, so look, you guys. I just want to talk to y'all real quick. It's gonna be a quick message, okay? I don't know if you guys have um, air conditioning or fans. Uh, praise God, we got air conditioning. But look, if you go outside right now, without no um, ice or cold beverage or whatever, and you just stand outside barefoot, your feet gonna burn, okay? And depending on how light you are, uh, you might burn also, your skin I'm talking about. Um, praise God, if you have a little bit more melanin in your skin, of course you won't burn, but you can still get a tan, okay? Uh, listen, I just wanna say this to you guys. We use sunblock um, to keep our body protected from the sun. We use um, glasses with UV ray protective, whatever, glassware, eyewear, you know, to protect our eyes because we know how the sun can damage our eyes. Especially as we get older, we know how important it is to protect our eyes. Why? Because we have one set of eyes. Just like we have one body while we're on this earth. So when this time is up and we have no body to dwell in anymore, the body is going to return to the ground from which it came. You see what I'm saying? It, it, whether or not you get cremated, I don't know. Your own choice. But just for general purposes, say you get buried and have a funeral like most people do. Um, then your body goes back to the dust. The same way when God created Adam, right? He, he what? He, he formed man out of the dirt of the ground, the dust. And he breathed life into his, his nostrils um, and gave him life. So God breathed life out of the dirt. So think about when we die, our bodies go back into the ground from which originally they came, right? So that's what I mean by my statement that I just made, just not to throw confusion out there. I wanna make it plain and clear and understanding that you guys know when I'm speaking to you about things, speaking about my own personal experiences and also biblical, um, from a biblical standpoint. So look, right now it's so hot. My original point is super hot. Nobody is about to be out here walking barefoot and burning their feet up okay no sunblock no sun, at least suntan lotion has some type of uv protection still so you won't burn as severely okay and you, why do we protect ourselves because of course it's our one body that we have here on this earth and of course being our naturally first instinct is to protect ourselves that's what we're going to do we're going to stay hydrated you know eat lots of vegetables and fruits stuff that's going to be good cooling and refreshing during this time of year so my point with all this where i'm going with this you guys hear me out do you know this heat right here is nothing compared to hell? H-E double hockey sticks, hell, okay? Hades, um, the inferno, there's all kind of different whatever terms for the place the um, where, where people are gonna go when they die that don't have Jesus as their Lord and Savior. What's so scary about that statement, you guys, is there is no other place um, that people, unbelievers can go but to hell. You, we're not going to be reincarnated to come back here, y'all. I know some people might believe that. And honestly, it's just from us human beings and our own thinking, our own feudal minds. We try to gather some type of explanation or find a reasoning. Because this is what scientific stuff, you know, stuff happens. Scientists, they do. They try to rationalize or come up with a hypotenuse or hypo whatever, hypothesis and all this other crap. They're trying to come up with the answers to a question. Okay. Um, is the hypothesis the right word I'm looking for? Anyways, look, all along, there is only one place you can go besides heaven, and that's hell when you die. There is no coming back to earth. There is no reincarnation of another animal or species or whatever people might think there is. But the truth of the matter is, only one way can man be forgiven of their sins. And look, I know a lot of people know this. I know a lot of people have heard this. And I know you guys think we're ramming it down your throats, but the truth is we love you guys. We love you, and that's why we take the time to share the good news. It, it wouldn't be good news if there, if it was like, oh, everybody's gonna go to hell when they die. 
No, the good news is that Jesus came and made a way for us to have salvation through him. So that when we die, we don't have to go to hell. Or else all of us would be going to hell. Why would God do this? Why would God create a place? And why would this? Why, why, why? Look, I'm, that's not why I'm making this video today. It's not to, to let out all the reasons and whys or possibilities. But let me just tell you this. There is a heaven, there is a hell, and there is an earth. This is in between heaven and hell, you guys. We are here right now. There's no purgatory or whatever. I don't know what the heck all these people come up with all this stuff. It's not biblical, okay? So let me just tell you this. We have to go either one place or the other. And if you go outside right now, and you can walk outside barefooted with no sunscreen, no eye protective, no nothing, and just, just live outside hot as ever, then you might like hell. But I don't know about you. I like to drink cold water, okay? Matter of fact, and I just drank it out. It's just kind of cold still. I like to have ice cold water on a hot day. You know what I'm saying? I like to have me a little cold little salad, a little cold refreshing watermelons or, or um, strawberry slices or, you know, whatever. Something cold and refreshing. A nice popsicle, some ice cream, yogurt, whatever. You see what I'm saying? Because it's cool and refreshing. I can't do that if I'm in hell. I, I can't leave that place. You know, there's... Just imagine a place that you can never get out of but what if you could see out of the window and out that window you could see far away to where you could have went. Knowing that up there is heaven, but you can't go there. I don't know what would be worse, sitting and burning for eternity or being stuck in a, like a black hole and there's a window and all you can see is out there and you can't get out. That's torture. And not only that, just think about the fact that God loved you so much. He made you for a purpose to come back to him. See, it's not like, God did this because he's a horrible, mean person, or he just hates us. He did this because he loved us so much. And Jesus didn't have to come here. Do you understand that in the beginning, he was there at the right hand of the Father. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they are one. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do you realize that Jesus didn't have to come down here? He came here in, in the form of a human man, birth of a virgin, to prove that he was, of course, deity. And that he was immaculate, it was an immaculate conception. No way a, a virgin could get pregnant. Show me someone who did. And all these other stories and these other cultures and like Egyptian, Isis, Assad, Heru, all these, come on man, they just stole the same story of what really happened with Jesus. They have other ones in other cultures too. Same thing, a virgin birth, blah, blah, blah. The devil always tries to emulate God, but he can't. He cannot be like him. So the devil is the God, lowercase g, of this world, but he is not the creator. He does not have the right to take your life. He does not have the right to choose. Believe that whatever scraps and scrums he gets left over is because whoever it was that chose to follow him, it was their choice. God loved every human being, every creation. He loved everything that he ever made. But, but because people chose to rebel against God. And God knew that their hearts were far from him. They knew they were never going to return to him. Like the Bible tells us, some kids, some children are just children of the devil. They will never serve him ever. Even if when, when the sky cracks open, every knee will bow, every tongue shall confess to Jesus Lord. Even when the sky cracks open, they're still going to curse God because they have no love in their hearts. They're just like, just like the devil, Lucifer in the beginning, when he was in heaven with God, he was something was wrong with him. He was not like the other one. He was not the same as the other angels. Think about how he plotted against God. Are you serious? You're that bold and crazy. So God gave him a place down here. A lot of people call this hell. I wonder why. Because the devil is all in this place. But you got to also understand that God is still in order. He's still in control. And there is order in this world. Only because God has rules and regulations. And the devil can only go so far. He cannot run things like everybody thinks. He can. Everybody gives him so much credit. Oh, the devil made me do it. Oh, the devil did this. Oh, it's because of the devil. The devil stopped my blood, my blessings. The devil stopped my glory. No, fool. A lot of that stuff is just you. Now, not to call you guys fools, but I'm using that as a term loosely because, you know, we, we do speak, you know, street lingo, ebonics, whatever you want to call it. Um, just being real. Layman's terms. I'm not going to use all these professional technical terms. But what I do want to say is this, you guys. Heaven and hell is real. There is a war right now for souls between heaven and hell to take us out of here. Okay? And honestly, we have to choose today whom we're going to serve. Can I serve God and you cannot serve the devil at the same time? 
And look, even if you go and research Luciferians, they'll tell you they don't worship the devil. They worship themselves. Because the first book of their, their law is to do as thou will. Like you saw Jay-Z wearing them shirts. You see all these other... I'm not going to call them words, but you see all these other um, people, whatever, wearing these shirts and stuff. Do what you want to do. Devin the Dude made a song. Do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. All this stuff. Even in these songs they make that you guys let your kids listen to. Hip-hop, R&B. Those songs have incantation, incantations, I think. They're spells. Why is it, if y'all listen to Erica Badu, I know y'all don't want to hear me on this, okay? She was, even in her song, speaking spells over y'all, didn't even know it. Why D'Angelo had that song, How Does It Feel? Why was the name of that album called Voodoo? Come on, you guys, there's so much in our faces, but people are so walking, talking zombies, they're not paying attention. Do you realize these zombie movies that you watch every day? These movies that come out, Dawn of the Dead and Army of Darkness, all these other ones, zombies this, zombie that, zombie nation. Those are not actual zombies, people. We're not gonna turn into flesh-eating zombies. These are subliminal messages that they are pushing on you. They're talking about you walking around being zombified because you're not paying attention. You're too busy on your phone and distracted by the things of this world, like being on a device. I made a video about that. Being on your devices, you're walking, talking zombies. You're dead men walking slow. You notice in the scary movies how the zombies always walk super slow? Oh, brain, whatever. They're looking for, you know, whatever they're trying to, to survive off of. They have to eat other humans and stuff like that. Eat their brains to survive, you know what I'm saying? These are all just subliminal messages, you guys. They're showing you that we're walking, talking zombies. And we're going with the crowd. What the crowd is doing and saying. So I would like to commission you guys today to go against the culture go against the culture go against like Lecrae made the songs about rebel rebel against the culture let's stop trying to be like the world and be like what Jesus told us to be love our neighbors pray for them okay love them because that love is what draws them to Christ the Bible never said condemning people will bring him them to him he said my love will draw them to repentance. Who needs to hear this? We could go out here all day and show them what they're doing wrong. You're going to hell. Why are you doing this? You shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't drink. You shouldn't fornicate. La, 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 la. That's not going to draw a person to Christ. They already know what they're doing ain't right. But they're already so miserable and they're already so hurt and broken. They need a savior, man. They need to be loved and they need the love of Christ. So we're supposed to show them that love. I'm not perfect. Look, I'm just a messenger. Look, don't shoot me, okay? I'm just a messenger, man. I'm still learning. This is the everyday process. I'm not perfect. I would never claim to be. But the one that lives inside of me is. And he wants me and you to learn to live that way. When our enemies ask us to walk one mile, you walk two. They, uh, they steal your coat. You give them your backpack too. And I'm layman's terms, okay? This is not verbatim. But if your enemy smacks you on one side of his face, you let him smack the other side too. You understand what I'm trying to say? Because these are not our ways. These are God's ways. When, when you're treating people nice, okay? When people treat you wrong, talk bad about you, curse you, steal from you, lie to you, cheat on you, you show them the love of Christ. You know why? That's what brings conviction to that heart. That's what sows the seed of righteousness. And that's what gives God glory. Right? Some plant, others water, God gets the increase. I can sit here all day and tell you guys over and over again. But as I'm talking to you, God is reminding me too. Hell is hot. You don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. I'm sorry to tell you guys this. A lot of people think that their loved ones are dead and in heaven. I'm sorry to say a lot of them aren't. And I'm not trying to bust your bubble. Okay? I want you to come to reality to think about this. Just because we're good people, we do not go to heaven because of that. There's a lot of good people who didn't make it to heaven. There's a lot of people who thought they were sold out for Jesus and serving him. But their hearts were far from him. They said The Bible says, Jesus says, depart from me, I never knew you. You who caused iniquity. People cast out devils in his name, spoke tongues, did all kind of stuff. But Jesus said, look, I never knew you. The thing about it is, y'all, there's so many people in this world that's hurt and broken. And they're looking for Jesus. They're looking for the lover of their souls. 
most people just want love and acceptance. They want to feel like they're accepted a part of some group. They're loved by someone. They're looked, they're looked up to. Whatever the case may be. Accepted some way. They need family. They need structure. They don't have a family. They're lonely. It could, I could go on and on and on. All of us have been hurt or broken some way or another, man. But we have to understand this, that Jesus is coming back to judge. And if we who are in the body of Christ have failed to do our job here, what are you going to say to your Lord and Savior when he says, child, what did you do for me? What did you do with the hours and days and times and months that I've given you? What did you do with all the years that I let you live here while you were comfortable sitting on your air-conditioned couch? Furniture in your air-conditioned house, I mean. Your air-conditioned car. Or when it's cold out and raining, you have a heater and a car that's running that has heat. You have a stove and a fireplace. You have brand new clothes you can put on every day, a washer and dryer. Some people don't even have a house to go to. Some people don't have a pot to piss in. Excuse my language, that's the truth. Some people have to dig a hole just to go to the bathroom. My mother's from a country where they were really poor growing up. Do you understand? They didn't grow up with electricity like we did here. They had to sleep on the floor just to keep warm. And underneath the house, they would have to burn the coal to warm up the house. That's why most Asian people sleep on the floor. You wonder why? Because that's how they grew up. It's called survival. Back in the day, people would get married because they had to survive. They didn't have free money. They didn't have welfare. They didn't have food stamps. They didn't have housing. My mother's from Korea, and she never experienced as much free stuff here until she came to America. This is why a lot of people want to come here because this is called, quote, unquote, land of the free. But when we come here, man, we forget our culture and where we're from. We forget the values that our people have given us. And we forget the first thing that's important is our family. And to love other people, man. Not, not because of the color of your skin. Not because of how you look and what's different between you and I. But because you're human just like I am. And God created us to love each other. And to look out for each other. To visit the widows and the fatherless. Right? Visit those who have to have husbands and wives that died. They're all alone, the senior citizens. Visit those who are orphaned and have no mothers and fathers. Visit those who really need a family. So I think I ran out of my mouth, minutes. all right, you guys. I don't want to keep you too long. But it was on my heart to share. Hell is hot, you guys, and judgment is going to come one day. And I just pray that God have mercy on me because I'm not perfect. But I put my trust in Jesus and what he did on the cross for me because I'm not a perfect person. And I know I tell a lot of people about what thus says the Lord. And I promise you, every day I'm striving to live, to, to make him happy. And it's not, it's not easy. It's not overnight. But if God can deliver me from addiction and, 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 and fornication and all this ungodly stuff, hustling, dope dealing, okay, almost started pimping women. Okay, if God can deliver me from all this, in and out of jail, could have been to prison, could have been dead many a times. But God spared my life because I was out of control. But he knew that one day I would have a purpose that is something that he wanted me to do. To tell people that Jesus loves you. Jesus really loves you. Jesus really died for you. And I know you don't want to hear that because you don't want to live the way he wants you to live. But let me tell you this. Would you, would you rather just have a temporary life here? Less than 100 years of doing what you want to do? To sacrifice an eternity? That's forever of being, man, blessed and happy with the God who created you for him, man. You're willing to jeopardize, like really take a risk to just, just in your mind, think. What if heaven's not real? What if Jesus is not who he says he is? Are you willing to rest eternity to find out? Because you can never come back, man. Hell is serious and judgment is real, you guys. Judgment is real. I know Tupac made that song, only God can judge me, but you don't want to be judged by God. Because with judgment comes eternal damnation, separation from God in hell. So please, y'all, think about the life you're living. Is what you're doing right now worth eternity? You can't, you, you know, even people who have mental problems, emotional problems, they're tired of being upset, stressed out, dealing with certain type of issues. Man, there's counseling, okay? There's prayer, there's healing and deliverance and praise. I still want to pray with you if you don't have faith, if you don't believe. But God is in the healing business, y'all. He will heal and deliver you. If you so believe and ask by faith. Okay? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 1. And let me tell you this. God is able to do what man is unable to do. Ask yourself today. Are you willing to risk eternity to second guess who Jesus is and why he came? 
it's not worth it you guys because hell is real the devil is out here going to and fro seeking those who he can devour do you understand the bible says if you said the bible says if you submit to god resist the devil he will he will flee from you first he said to submit to god resist the devil he will flee from you okay then you must seek ye the kingdom first and all of his righteousness and then the rest shall be added unto you i think that's matthew 6 and 33 Listen, you guys, you cannot play with your life. You have one life on this earth to, ch to make a choice. Choose this day whom you will serve. Walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You guys, time is running out. This is the end times we're living in, you guys, for real. Do you know that when they do away with money, this is, man, it's a dundada. Stuff is hitting the fan. You guys don't realize. Please, take heed. Take heed to this warning. Your great, 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 great grandmother's been telling you that we in the last days. How far you think we are now? Think on that. Tomorrow is not promised and yesterday is gone. So let's press in and go forward. Stop looking back, y'all. Today is today. You have a choice. You got to make it. I love you. This is the Car Chronicles. Please share these videos. Please like them and share them. Look, Faith Over Everything on YouTube. That's Faith, F-A-I-T-H, over, O-V-E-R, everything. E-V-E-R-Y-T-H-I-N-G. Faith over everything. And you'll see it because there's a scripture on the picture. That's me. All right? Like and subscribe. Please share these videos. Look, I try to share other videos that touch me, encourage me. Please do the same and share with your friends and family. Someone who needs to know the truth. Someone you've been praying for. They need to know Jesus is real. Okay? I love you guys. Remember, I do not own the rights to this music. God bless you. And remember, no matter who's in office, Jesus is still King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I love you guys. God bless you. And remember, God is greater than anything. Anything. You don't have to be, you don't have to fear what man can do, what these viruses can do. You don't have to fear none of this stuff. I love you guys. I'm out.